because uh, researchers face a lot of challenges today. Uh, one is making an impact in this ever-increasing body of um, research knowledge that is being published every year. So it is difficult to stand out, and the other challenge is uh, simply connected to science writing. It's difficult to communicate science. Um, it's, it's about communicating complex concepts. Uh, it involves long argument chains, and it also involves a certain inherent overcoming an inherent blindness with researchers. Uh, researchers are often immersed in projects for months, even years, which makes it a bit hard to, to think yourself into the, into the seat of the reader and, and try to understand what they actually know and not know. So what we frequently see in many papers is that there are gaps in the log logical argumentation uh, and that there is not a, a clear flow of ideas, which makes it unfortunately difficult to grasp what was done and more importantly, why it's important. In general, how do you think that researchers do? Are they good at writing up publications? Well, I think in general, researchers are very good considering the fact that many of them don't uh, receive any formal training. Uh, however, we have worked on many, many papers and we commonly see uh, some shortcomings that, uh, that come up uh, time and again. Uh, one uh, issue that I think is particularly important in, in the context of, of uh, you know, providing the, the reader with understanding why the research is important is the lack of a research question. Many papers lack this, this specific problem statement uh, that grounds the reader into why the research was done in the first place. Uh, and I think that is something that researchers can, can work to, to improve, essentially. And a second challenge that I think researchers have, and some are better than others, is to try to condense their research into a core main message that they present in the paper. Uh, frequently, you, we, we come across papers that they contain a lot of interesting results, but there is not a clear focus uh, in, in the narrative. So it makes it very difficult to appreciate what was done uh, and how the different bits and pieces in the, in the article hang together to form a coherent story. So there are, you know, there are there is room for improvement. But the researchers overall, I think they do a good job considering the the pressure they're under. But if you have really excellent uh, research and and very good data, um, isn't that enough? Do you have to package it uh, in a good way? Yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting question. I mean, uh, frequently uh, or sometimes we hear from researchers uh, that say that, you know, results should speak for themselves. And again, this may perhaps have been the case a hundred years uh, ago when, when uh, science was uh, much more broadly accessible, I think, to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to scientists, whereas now science is very specialized, it is very, uh, it is very complex. So the presentation is equally as, equ as important as having good research. That's important. I would say so, yeah, because, uh, you know, no matter how good your research is, if people are not able to, to, to read it, understand it, uh, finding meaningful and influential, then the research doesn't really have an impact. Uh, and that's what, really what it's all about, you know, to have an impact, to, to uh, influence the, 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 the thinking of the readers and help them build upon the knowledge you have created. And for that, I think the presentation is crucial.